promise you're chosen No one can take that away from you you guys have been paying attention to the community tab you will know that i've been saying that i've been trying to get my social media cleared out and up and running to be able to run with my youtube as well as keep you guys updated on my you know my everyday life if you guys are interested in that my instagram will mostly be about you know just my regular everyday hijinks around my life with my puppy my wife and stuff like that my twitter will mostly be about you know netflix and gaming and movies and just stuff on that type of side of things so if you guys are interested, go ahead and give me a follow, please. That'll be very grateful. And thank you guys for subscribing so far. You guys are awesome. Peace. What is up, guys? SK here. And today we're going to do a Bless Unleashed video. So over the weekend, we were blessed with a chance to play the Bless Unleashed closed beta test if you were an Xbox Insider. Now, to get into Xbox Insider, all you had to do was download the app Xbox Insider and join the Bless Unleashed group, and you were prompted to download the game directly after that. I'm telling you this now because you might want to go ahead and do that just in case they decide to do another beta through that system. I didn't post a video how to do so on that day, but I did post it in the community tab if you guys pay attention to that. So I'm sorry because I was getting sick over the weekend, so I didn't really get to do as much as I wanted to do. I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to play as well. I only got to level 10 during the beta, and which even only getting to level 10, I feel like I got a lot accomplished over those two days that I got to play. So that's in a total, this is going to be a review and I'm not going to judge this too harshly because like I said, it is still in the closed beta phase and for being in the closed beta phase, it is still, it was actually pretty good to be honest. Now there were some gripes from within the community, but they're asking for feedback to actually better the game. So hopefully they listen to their player base and get these fixed. So by the time the game launches, we'll see that these issues are no longer present. Once again, guys, I apologize for my voice. I am still sick. I'm getting over my cold now. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do this the best I can. And I want to go ahead and get this video because I'm not sure how much longer I will be sick. So for the feedback portion of this video, we're going to split these into three categories. And we're going to talk about these a little bit in depth. And then I'm going to ask you guys to you know, go ahead and comment in the, put in the comments what, you're, what you enjoy the most out of the beta. What were you annoyed with? Just give me a little bit of feedback on what you think was wrong with the beta and what you think could be done better. So before I go in on this, I want to make sure that you guys understand that this is an extremely early build, and I understand this as well, but I'm still going to go in on the points that I want to go in on, just to make sure that it's known this is what I believe should be done and what is wrong with the game at this point. So I'll be making a few references to Bless Online and other MMOs in the genre, so bear with me. So the graphics in the game were actually really beautiful. I didn't think it would be this polished as it is. They're not like, you know, world breaking or astounding or something like that, but it is definitely a step up from Bless Online. There were some frame drops in some areas whenever you'd encounter too many people and there were lingering effects in the background like fire or something. I did crash a few times, but that was to be expected throughout the beta. But I do have to say the world did feel a lot more robust than the game's predecessor. I mean, adding a few trees, spacing out a few monsters, adding some NPCs, it made the world feel a lot more more populated than Bless Online did. One of my main problems with the game is that the, sometimes the camera felt too up close on your back as the character, and in those situations I feel like the game needs a camera zoom in and out button just so you can adjust the, adjust your camera to how you want it to be. At the moment it does feel really overimposing. So because I own an Xbox and an Xbox One X, I went ahead and tried to play the game on both and I didn't have the chance to actually capture footage on the other because I didn't want to have to move my Xbox into this room and set up my game capture to it and have to do all that back and forth. But I can say the game does need a lot of optimization work because a lot of the player base is not gonna, are not going to own an Xbox One X or Xbox One S for that matter. And they own the basic Xbox. And if this game is only optimized to run at full potential on Xbox One X or Xbox One S, then the people on Xbox One, they're not going to really enjoy the game as they can. And I can say that on Xbox One, the game feels a little bit more choppy than it does on Xbox One X. Like, it feels so much better on Xbox One X versus the Xbox One. And that leads me into the cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes went off smoothly, like from the transition to, you know, from you talking to the NPCs and the NPC going on their little tirade of, you know, backstory or whatever. But then some of the cutscenes, they kind of went choppy when you try to get into it when it comes to a fighting cutscene. And those cutscenes probably need to be polished up. Like I said, it's still the CBT, so I expected some things like that. And my last complaint would be the texture of bricks. I hate when I'm running through a town or running through an area that has bricks on the ground and all the bricks look 
just flat and bland. And that's kind of something that this game has just let itself go into just using flat and bland bricks. Like there's no there's no feeling of, you know, that this brick specifically has been like disturbed within the 1,000 people that crossed over this brick or something. Like, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like the texture for bricks and stuff on the ground are bland. Now, I know we're not playing the game to go look at bricks on the ground or whatever, but it's just something that got to me. So this section is one of the biggest complaints that a lot of players had, and I actually had an issue with it myself. When the server kicked off, I went ahead and joined the game and created the class that I was gonna create while I was, you know, recovering or trying to recover. And I didn't get to play that much, but I played through the tutorial as the mage, the crusader, and the berserker. And normally when I go into a game, I go straight for the mage class. But playing the mage, I felt really awkward. I don't know why it was. It's just that I couldn't do what I wanted to do the input delay felt really weird and just the general actions between trying to attack the monsters and then having to dodge in the middle of my combo and not being able to actually do the damage enough to kill certain things and I died multiple times to the to the beginning boss with the mage I'm not gonna lie so when I moved over to the crusader because I was like okay my backup is always gonna be a knight and the crusader is a close thing to a knight I tried out the Crusader and the combat felt really weird between trying to block in the middle of your action combos and it just, it felt really different. So I was like, okay, Berserker's gonna be my last try because I don't play archers and I don't play healers. I got on the Berserker and it felt more natural. But that's because I'm used to, you know, playing with heavy swords and Monster Hunter World and stuff like that. So I'm used to the combat swing of that being so slow. But the input delay actually really triggered me when it came to not being able to follow up my combos as much as I wanted to. They did a little patch, and I feel like that's what fixed the input delay. Like, from the day one to the second day when I got to actually play. But from that point on, I didn't feel any real input delay when playing as the Berserker. But the combat does need to be sped up a little bit. Not to the speed of, say, Blade and Soul or, you know, Black Desert but to maybe a dragon nest style level and while they're upgrading the attack speed for characters and movement speed for characters they need to go ahead and do that for monsters as well because if the monsters can't keep up it's just we're going to be slaughtering monsters with no challenge so the movement speed was another big issue when it came to the game because the movement speed in combat was very slow it felt very sluggish i understand out of combat you're supposed to be using mounts but even the mount speed felt kind of slow to be honest when it came to riding a horse. Maybe it's supposed to get faster when it comes to riding a higher tier style mount, but at the moment, the movement speed of the base horse you can buy from the stable NPC is very slow and it barely contests sprinting in other games. So I would like to see a sprint button added, as well as changing the jump button from the trigger to A, because there is no problem with changing the button from, tr from the trigger to A. Most other games have your jump button matched as A, whereas A is your button to talk to an NPC as well as, you know, your jump button. Also, changing your jump button to A would open up a lot more options for button input combinations, allowing you to do more across the face of your controller. So the field bosses are a really dynamic part of this game, and in the beginning I didn't realize that the Wolf King was actually a field boss because he didn't really feel too tough. But around level 9, around level 8 or 9, you get to this giant and he becomes part of the storyline as well as part of your quest to get your next blessing. And this giant felt like an actual boss. Like this giant was slaughtering people left and right and his mechanics were pretty fun to be dealing with actually. For a lower level boss at least. I actually got to fight the harpy which was at around level 10 and that was kind of an insane fight because she, she just keeps moving and she knocks she has knockback mechanics she has other mechanics where she flies around and just rains feathers down it's insane like the field bosses i really like the field bosses that i fought so far and it was at this point where i started realizing that my my button combos were actually coming together a lot better than what they were in the beginning so like i felt like the combat here was pretty well done just a little bit faster combat would be needed to be honest i was dodging well enough i was getting attacks off well enough and then being able to dodge and going through my iframes and animation cancels in between having to attack. What I would suggest is being able to roll 
to dodge and still be able to continue your combo rather than just your roll canceling out your combo completely because that is one of the biggest issues I have with Bless Online is that you have to link these um, skills together and as soon as you dodge you break your skill link which means you have to reset your damage all the way back to the beginning. Another issue is the field boss reset zone. So the field bosses they have this area where they can travel through in the map where you know there's this little area around them where they can stay and fight and they go outside that area they'll go ahead and run back to their respawn zone reset their HP. That is a very bad mechanic that the fact that they reset their HP because somebody can be trolling and decide that you know they're gonna grab aggro the boss and run out of the area and reset the bosses because they don't want the people to be able to complete the boss or whatever. I really hope that changes because when we had to fight the harpy, she actually aggroed someone that was off the um that was outside the area and she did her dive bomb attack, dived on that person, then immediately reset right after. And she was at like she was at least almost she was at least 10% HP left. So it was kind of frustrating to have to go through all that just to have a reset on someone that was completely outside the fight. And then we had to start all over from the beginning. When it comes to the basic monsters, all most of their attacks felt super uniform, which is to be expected in an MMO. You can't expect too much variety when it comes to regular mob attacks and MMOs. I enjoyed the fact that some of the moves had the ability to hit stun some of the enemies so that you can stop their attacks and then continue your combos without being interrupted by other surrounding enemies. But I did enjoy every fight I had after the tutorial. It felt really super smooth and balanced when it came to fighting the field bosses because they would scale up when more people joined and scale down when people left. And it just felt super fair when it came to having to fight these titanic bosses. And I feel like it's just going to get better and better when the game as the game progresses. All in all, I gotta say, I enjoyed the hell out of the beta. I enjoyed the fights, I enjoyed just running around, exploring a little bit of the world that we could. And I wish I could have gotten to a higher level in the days that I played, but my play was restricted because, like I said, I was trying to recover from being sick, and I'm still recovering. Um, I really do wish I got to get into some of the dungeons, but, you know, we'll just have to wait until the game comes out, or hopefully we'll be invited to another um, beta test sometime later on. I want to say a good shout to Round 8 Studios and Bandai Amco for putting their best foot forward when it comes to putting this game out, because a lot of people have been waiting for something like this on Xbox, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be interested in trying this out once a lot of the things are fixed in the game. And for those of you that are on the fence, remember the game is going to be free to play whenever it does launch. So, I mean, all you gotta do is download and try it out. You don't like it, you don't like it, but it's worth giving it a try. I actually ended up enjoying it after I got used to, you know, the gun combos and everything, and getting to one of the field bosses. It was just an all-around solid gameplay experience for a closed beta. So, I'm hoping the game will be a lot better than this when it does launch, whenever that may be. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and share with someone that might be interested in Bless Unleashed. And let's keep this hype train going. Peace.